Today we have an intriguing tale which uncovers the alleged connection between Russia's TU-144 and the iconic Concorde. Join us as we explore the rumors surrounding the alleged theft of plans. Let's get started. In the late 1960s, the race to develop supersonic passenger aircraft was at its peak. Both the Soviet Union and Western countries such as the United States, Britain and France were determined to create a revolutionary aircraft that could travel faster than the speed of sound. The Concorde, which was a joint venture between Britain and France, was making significant progress and would later go on to become an icon in modern day aviation. But the Concorde had a stepsister of so, if that sister was loud, made of iron and born of espionage, which most people probably never heard about. Come into the chat, the TU-144, which is the Soviet Union's entry into the race to have the first supersonic commercial airliner. The TU-144 promised class, speed and luxury travel, except it only delivered on one of those things but we'll get to that. The TU-144 was fast, but with the primitive technology the Soviets had, the engines were extremely loud, terribly inefficient and the way the aircraft vibrated, it might as well have been the dildo. And due to the technological limits of the aircraft, it only ever flew one route from the Soviet Union to Kazakhstan. It was so expensive to run, not all that comfortable and could only go to one destination. It's no surprise this Soviet enterprise ended up as a failure in every sense of the word. If you recall, in the 1960s there was a race to develop the first supersonic commercial airliner. And it's important at this point for me to state that all of this is alleged as it was never officially confirmed. But rumors began to circulate that the Soviet Union had obtained classified information about the Concorde's design. It was speculated that Russian spies infiltrated the Concorde project, stealing plans and blueprints. These allegations fueled the belief that the TU-144 was a direct result of espionage. In 1968, the TU-144 made its maiden flight just a few months before the Concorde. The similarities between the two aircraft were striking, leading to further speculation about stolen plants. The TU-144's delta wing design, drooping nose and overall shape bore a striking resemblance to the Concorde. But well, it's one thing copying someone else's homework and it's another thing to show the workings after you've done it. And let's just say the Soviet model looked like the Concorde in every sense that mattered, but could they make it fly and perform like the Concorde? The rivalry between the TU-144 and the Concorde reached its peak at the 1973 Paris Air Show. The Soviet Union saw this as an opportunity to showcase their technological prowess. However, during the demonstration flight, disaster struck. The TU-144 crashed, resulting in the loss of six crew members and eight people on the ground. The crash at the Paris Air Show dealt a severe blow to the reputation of the TU-144. The incident raised questions about the rushed development of the aircraft and the alleged espionage. While the Soviet Union denied any wrongdoing as they would, the suspicions surrounding the TU-144's origins persisted. More crashes and incidents would follow in addition to the singular route and unattractive nature of the in-flight service. To say the TU-144 was a failure is an understatement. If you want to hear about more stories of aircraft just like the T144, be sure to subscribe, drop a like on this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, run your checklists.